I was just reminded to the time when I was almost deported from the Netherlands. I was scammed and I was almost deported. Let me let me tell you guys about that a bit. So it was my third year of medical school, 2020, like COVID, COVID times when like lockdown had just started and stuff. And a friend of mine moved from Cameroon to to Spain. So I lived in the Netherlands and he moved from Cameroon to Spain. And we got in contact again after a long time. And that's why I say it's really important to watch who you have around me, especially when you move abroad. He moved to Spain, reached out to me, told me he's coming in the summer. It was around March, April of that period. We got in touch, we we're talking back and forth here and there. And then at some point he mentioned he's coming to the Netherlands in the summer. I was like, okay, cool, I'll share around in the summer when you come here. Um, it's my turf, I can share around and other places. Great. And then at some point he reached out to me, he's like, oh, yo, do you have a bank account I could use to like, you know, keep money in so I can use the money when I come to the Netherlands? My naivety, I did not think about the fact that Spain is in the EU, so then all the bank accounts you have there you can use as well here in the summer. So I never thought about that. But anyways, I was like, yeah, cool. I had a bank account which I was not using because, you know, the, the bank came to my medical school and they were like, yo, medical doctor, we want to give you free bank accounts good plans for the future. So I had that bank account just staying around. I was paying charges, but I wasn't using it. So I was like, okay, I can give you this bank account. Use it. In the summer, I was thinking about closing it anyways because I'm paying charges. So after the summer, you're gone, I will close the bank account down. That was the agreement. I was like, okay, fine. Um, I did not give him the login details. I just gave him the bank account number so he could put money in if he wanted to. It sounded harmless to me, right? And it's someone I knew went to the same boarding school for eight years. So I had some level of trust. I know he's a very gullible person, but I was like, nothing can really go wrong. One day I was sitting down during COVID times having online classes. He calls me and stuff. And I missed the call because I'm in class. And then I call him later. And then he did not peek. And then something just told me, check the bank account. So I opened the bank account and there's like 10,000 euros inside. I'm like, oh, what's happening here? Then I call him again and he picks. I'm like, what's happening with this money? And he tells me, yo, it's money from a client. He's doing whatever. I should send it to a different bank account. Before I go to send the money even, um, and the thing is nothing really clocked in my head because, you know, th there was some degree of financial naivety which I had because I never really controlled money like that in Cameroon. So having a bank account and the implications of giving your bank account to someone else was something that was never really real to me because I never, I've not had a bank account for longer than three years. So I was still, was still very fresh to me. So I go and try to send the money and the bank account has blocked, like the bank has blocked the bank account. And I'm like, what's happening? I call them. They say standard procedure and everything. I go to the bank after like three weeks of them blocking my account. This lady takes my bank like card ID, goes to the back to check what's happening. She comes out trembling. She's like, sir, we need you to exit the building. The bank cannot do anything for you anymore. They would send you a letter with more information, but for now you need to leave the building. She's talking. The security guards are walking towards me. So they're like, I need to leave i've never felt like a criminal before like i've never felt that much like a criminal before and then i go to the police station to like file a report and everything because the bank told me to do that i go to file a police report the police is like so sure i mean the police is sure so sure that i had a part to do in it because i did not mention this but the friend of mine after i told him the whole thing he blocked me <laughs> So he blocked me, I go to the police, file a report. The police is like, sir, tell us what your role was. Like, I'm trying to tell them I do not have a role in this. I just, I was naive about the whole thing. I did not know what was happening. They tell, it was almost that thing of like, we know you were a part of this. Just tell us what your role is. Stop trying to refuse, you're not a part of this. And that was something for me was very, it was very humiliating for lack of a better word. And the thing is that thing for me had very big implication because as a result of that, I would be banned from the bank. I would be banned nationally so no other bank will be able to like deal with me without knowing that i have a fraud case and because of that i will not be able to get a certificate of conduct and because of not getting a certificate of conduct i will not be able to continue my masters in medicine so my whole life here was more or less ended needless to say if i went to apply for the dutch nationality that would also be a fraud case which is flagged and because of that like i would not get a nationality and i'll not be able to stay here and i'll have to go back so there were a lot of things which were going on at that time and to think the person who came into your life all of a sudden and caused this just blocked you because he can, right? That for me was a, it was a wake up, it was an eye opening moment where it really pushed me to realize sometimes some things which we take for granted, especially in our communities, right? Like I know in my household, my sisters and my mom and my stepdad, we always had this thing of like sharing each other's codes, you know, go to the supermarket and buy me this and this is my code and stuff like that. And I think that's something which we as community collectivistic societies we have which is great but i think we also need to be aware of the fact that some people who don't necessarily deserve that level of access to you could misuse that really easily because for him there were no repercussions right like my life was ending here like i could not continue medical school i would have to leave the country but for him it's like ah that was a, that was a, he tried and he failed that was like just another project which did not work out and his life goes on and i think this is really important people who are moving abroad be very mindful of the people you keep around you 
because you never know not everyone has a good interest at heart especially when people come to europe to hustle and the mindset is we're going to grind and stuff like that you never know what the agenda is and if people are in a survival mindset state they will do any and everything they need to do to get to where they want to get to to get the money to get the success whatever and you are there just trying to help you're just trying to be good just trying to extend goodwill and people are there with their own agendas so when you move abroad please please pay attention to the people you keep around you and especially with things like this be very skeptical about giving you details bank details especially to people you are not very sure of i mean don't give it at all but if you have to make sure that you think about it a lot because my experience was not that great ultimately it worked out and bought from a bank but the rest of the country does not know so it's like it worked out eventually for me possibly i could finish medical school i could become a doctor and i'm still in the country but it's like it could easily have gone south like it could easily have gone south for something that i had no you know i just woke up one day and i was trying to help someone and then it like backfired really heavily i don't know who needs to hear this today but watch the people you keep around you especially when you move abroad to a country like this you never know what people's agenda is just pay attention to that because sometimes yeah all it takes is that one move for your whole life to be turned upside down